So yeah, welcome from me everyone and uh, that's what I look like. In, uh, I think it's always nice to be able to see a face behind a, a voice. Um, um, we're going to look at a cycle of communication and because we've noticed some people are working communication, you may have seen other cycles of communication, it doesn't really matter, it's just to illustrate uh, at the start of the webinar. So we're going to start with that. Um, and then we're going to look at rapport, and which is something I think we all know about, but for me it's really core to any relationship. And then we're going to look at being a person who is interested in others, rather than someone who aims to be an interesting person in the relationship. And again, I'll say a little bit more about that, but I think that's a key part of our skill set as relationship builders. Um, and then we're going to finish off with a little bit around being emotionally aware. Um, you know, as a person at work engaging with others, you have a thought and with your, your thought, you give it your meaning, your own personal meaning. So you're encoding it. And we're going to focus just on face-to-face uh, -face communication for this, for this particular slide at least. So you say what you're thinking to another person and you transmit your thought. And they receive it and fingers crossed they're good at listening. Now, I know that's not guaranteed, but go with me for now. So they receive it, they listen to you, and they think about what you've said, and then they give it their meaning. So they decode what you've said, and hopefully they understand what you've said, and then they give you some feedback. So that's while looking around, and you, you're really enjoying yourself, you're doing a little bit of people watching, uh, one of my great pastimes. And you see two people, they're sat at a table and they're talking. And you think, they've obviously got great rapport. Or you might think something uh, along those lines. Both, they are both contributing to the conversation. Um, they look relaxed, for example, and these are just one or two ideas. They look relaxed, they're smiling or laughing. They're using a reasonable amount of eye contact. And the body, you know, the body language is complementary. So we have mirroring there. You know, things like they're both eagerly sitting forward, or if it was a personal relationship, they might be holding hands, but they're certainly facing each other. So in terms of, here we go, relationship building, um, you know, and communication and rapport, when we talk, use formal speak, it's not the kind of language that we use in conversations. So for example, if I said to you, the report has not been forthcoming, it, it's stilted language. We don't use that conversationally. Choose one emotion. It can be any of the ones that we, we looked at. It could be happy, frustrated, bored or confident or another. It doesn't really matter. I just want you to choose one emotion. What does it feel like when you are happy or you are frustrated or whatever your emotion is? What are the physical sensations when you feel that emotion? Just what happens to your communication when you feel that way? So when you feel that happiness or when you feel that excitement or when you feel that frustration. And, and how does it impact on that one relationship that you're thinking about?